So for project eight, you can all select your own time slot. Uh, so find the uh, link in the email with the Word doc where you can put your name in a sign up time slot. And then you can sort your slide, you know, the slideshow, uh, kind of find your name and drag it up to the appropriate group. Uh, so for example, if Bianca was in group one, you can drag her up there. Um, and then just go to file and, uh, no, sorry, it's the plus symbol here for new slide. And if you click on the downward pointing arrow, you can select blank, which is the way I've normally built the slideshows. Uh, and drop in however many uh, you need, uh, which I think should only be uh, three. So you can show first the artist's original. Please include the artist's name on the slide, um, maybe down at the bottom, either bottom center, bottom right, something like that. Um, so that way we can kind of get the reference for them. Uh, remember that you should also be giving us some context for this work. So you should do a little bit of background search uh, either uh, their website or if you can find info on them from a gallery, uh, just so that you understand what the context of the work is, because uh, that was something that is mentioned in the assignment sheet. So be prepared to at least, you know, give us a sentence or two explaining what their, their sort of topic is and how this image fits into it. Uh, then drop in the first slide, that image, the original, drop in the second slide, the version you made so we can see it large. And then I think what's most effective is if you, on the third slide, kind of like we've done in the past, but just put in the two images that you actually, the, you know, the original and your version. Um, uh, that slide, I don't care about having text on to, to give us a reference to them. It, it might actually be more you know, easier for us to kind of uh, talk about them if they're as large as they possibly can be. I'm, I mean, give a little space between them. Uh, and particularly between them and the edge of the frame. So they're not kind of, you know, it's not distracting if they're butted up to next to each other. So give a little breathing room, uh, but make them relatively as large as possible. Um, if they're horizontals, probably one on top of the other, you know, both centered. Uh, if they're uh, verticals side by side, uh, approximately the same size, you know, left, right would make sense. So this is kind of up to you to sort of organize the slideshow to uh, you know, make it look clean and, and organized. Um, and uh, if you don't do this part, then you'll lose some points on, on the kind of visual presentation. So make sure you do that.